a beautiful evening here at Heart of Gold Sanctuary. And I just wanted to give you a little update on our friend over here, Amber. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh, why are you so beautiful? Hi, I know, honey. She just got here a couple days ago and she might have an unfortunately contagious and neurodegenerative disease. Um, so she is in quarantine, which she hates. She hates. And come here, baby. Hi. Do you need my help? She needs her eye itched. So once I touch her, I can't touch any of the other horses, but she has a really itchy eye, huh, honey? I know, baby. I get it for you. And then Monday, so tomorrow, no, wait, day after tomorrow, Afternoon, the vet is coming. We're going to do blood work, check her out, and see if this is, in fact, a um, contagious thing that she's got going on or if she was literally just in the sun with no protection, with her pink little skin, because you can see her hair was falling out. Um, this is her mane, and it's very thin, and the skin is all peely and pink and kind of blistery. She had blisters all over her body. So, not really sure what exactly is going on with her, but we will find out very shortly. So you are coming on a little walk with me. We're gonna go and make sure the summer pastures have a good amount of water in them. And on the way, oh, one thing I wanna show you. I just did a new garden. Look how sweet this is. Isn't that pretty? These petunias are called Mayan Sunset. Aren't they stunning? We've got some ice plant. Uh, forget what they are, forget what they are. I also did a whole vegetable garden today and it's going to continue to grow. Right now it's pretty small, but I've got about 40 sweet peppers and eight tomatoes and about 40 kohlrabi and 40 nasturtium and 40 kale. Lovely. Got lots of pansies blooming. Anyways, so I took on seven new rescues in just the last seven weeks, which was really non-negotiable. There wasn't a way that I could say no to these horses. They were all in terrible shape and probably would have eventually been euthanized after a long term of suffering. So <laughs> I'm here to beg for your help. I really need it. The vet is coming Monday and I don't exactly have any money right now and I'm trying to save up for rent as well. Um, so one, I am selling off my wedding gown collection and I think I have 24 gorgeous wedding gowns left um, from the 1940s through the 70s and a couple of 80s wedding gowns that are actually very tasteful and stunning. So that's one. I'm gonna put all the links to this stuff in the description in the text below this video. Um, two, you're probably already know, and if this is a surprise, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I run a sexy adult site and I have over a thousand and fifty published full length videos now. Yes, it's got everything you've dreamed of and probably a lot more. <laughs> and it's all in the name of loving horses. Um, I use a hundred percent of that money to fully fund the rescue. I used to also sell vintage clothing, but it turned out not to be as profitable as I needed it to be with, um, you know, constant rescuing of horses. They eat a lot. They keep being really skinny. I have to feed them super amounts and I use holistic preventative health care through supplemental feeding um, to heal them and also just give them joy because when an animal is really happy, it wants to heal because it loves its life and it wants more of it. 
but if an animal is bored and depressed, they usually won't heal no matter what you do. Same with people. So if you're trying to heal, treat yourself, have fun. All right, let's say hi to the friends. Hi, Dancer. That's a fly mask. Yes, he can see through it. Uh-oh, here comes Shark Bibi. Bibi is the lord of this land. His real name is Black Beauty. And it is time to take their masks off so that they can see at night. There we go. There's his handsome face. We have some eye goo to get rid of. Okay, very good boy. Very good. Oh, did you have an itchy forehead, honey? I got it for you. And, oh, he's telling Dancer, go away. This is all my attention, all my food. Dancer used to be the king. He was a stud when I got him. And I castrated him at 30 years old because he had no friends. He was very studly and he couldn't be around anybody. Oh, sassy attitude. And then there is Danny. Hi, Danny, what's up? Just enjoying dinner? You're cute. We love you. Danny's doing extremely well. So I am so blessed to have volunteers who ride. And um, one of them, Reed, recently rode both Sultan and Danny, uh, which makes my heart so happy because uh, it gives them a really good chance of finding a happy forever home. It's a lot harder for me to rehome companion horses, and I usually end up keeping those forever and ever. Hi. Um, Sultan, husband, Holly, wife. Holly is a boss wife. She's serious. She doesn't let anyone anywhere near Sultan. They're even sharing a pasture with uh, blue and whiskey. And I was super hopeful that by sharing the pasture, they might find some other friendships outside of their relationship. But Holly said, absolutely not. We are not doing that. It's you and me. And if you try and be friends with anyone else, I'll kill them and I'll kill you. So Sultan's kind of in that situation. It's a little bit toxic and he a little bit likes it that way. Oh, baby, you're so needed and wanted by Holly. <laughs> so anyways, he is obviously building a good amount of muscle in the neck. I don't know if you remember when he arrived, but he had the skinniest neck I'd ever, ever seen. I didn't know how he was holding up his beautiful head. Still got high withers, trying to build up some back muscle now. And his butt has filled out pretty good. Still got a little hip bone showing, but... Much better than before. They're building up some muscle running around out here. I come out and I'm the shit stirrer. I come out here and run and chase them and go, ah! and they run away from me bucking. They love it. It's not really scary for them. It's all a game and they know it because I'm also oat girl. So they'll never forget that I'm the one who gives the oats. Oh yes, water is full. Okay, I will turn this off. So here's Whiskey. He got his new shoes. He's still just a little bit sore on his feet, but so much better. I don't know if you saw the video when he came, but he could not walk. Poor Angel. He's putting on a good amount of weight, looking much better. And Miss Blue, filling out nicely. All of the worm hairs have finally fallen off. So now she'll be able to absorb all the nutrition. She'll start building muscle. She also has a skinny neck, so we really want to see that build out a bit. And what helps with that is me chasing them around. I'm not going to do it right now because, you know, the couples are trying to enjoy their dinners. Here she is. Look how beautiful. <gasps> Such a pretty girl. Oh my goodness. I've never seen one so lovely. And here's Whiskey. Very handsome young man. Hi, sweet baby. Oh, he's curious. What is this? What is this? <laughs> well, that's it for tonight. I just wanted to take you on my sunset stroll, turning off the waters for the day. Very Make sure your horses always have plenty of fresh water. Okay, so um, I think, guess I got sidetracked when I was telling you <laughs> about my adult site. www.daintyrascaldancing.com Dot com. Check it out. I have a 
free three day trial, which is automatically applied. You don't have to use any code or anything. You just sign up. You automatically get three days for free, no matter which tier you pick. So, you know, go big. <laughs> and as long as you cancel within three days, you won't be charged, but I'll be really sad at you because I need help. <laughs> um, it's really just so that you can trust that I really have so many videos you could never get through them in three days. I think it's like, it's probably about 500 hours, maybe more than that, of content. I don't know how long it would take you <laughs> if you just watched every single video. But anyways, um, you will love that. Yes, I also do OnlyFans. I don't love OnlyFans as much because they take 20% and I prefer all my money to go directly to my children. Um, cause like I said, we got vet bills, we got hay bills. It's expensive running a horse rescue and things have been very tight here. So I really could use your help if you are addicted to the OnlyFans platform and that's the only way you want to see me <laughs> go www.onlyfans.com slash dainty rascal, or just search all one word dainty rascal on OnlyFans by using the search uh, feature. Let's see, what else? <gasps> of course, you can always directly donate at www.heartofgoldsanctuary.org. Just click donate now and um, any amount is appreciated, even if it's five dollars. You know, everything helps. It all adds up in the end and right now we're going through so much grain. It's crazy and I don't skimp. I get the good stuff because I believe in holistic health care and preventative so I don't feed them shitty grain that's cheap and full of crappy fillers like soy that will eventually cause tumors so don't feed your animals soy don't eat soy don't drink soy soy is bad it's an endocrine disruptor and I love telling people this and they hate hearing it but it's true the natural defense mechanism of the plant soy itself is so brilliant. It's one of the smartest plants ever. It attacks the reproductive organ by toxifying the liver and slowing down hormone production and disabling it so that you don't create the right hormones. And hormones are like mind control, both for animals and people, and even plants have hormones. It's everything. So please be careful with your body and be very picky about what you consume, both eating and mentally what you're watching. Put good stuff in and you'll get good stuff out. Okay, shutting off the water and that is it. Thank you for joining me on my evening stroll. <laughs>